one talks with Krishna, he must be very avijya, very learned. Uh, <coughs> because he takes lessons from Krishna. Therefore, Krishna's knowledge is perfect. Therefore, because he takes knowledge from Krishna, his knowledge is also perfect. Avijya. And Krishna talks. It is not that. It is fictitious. No. Krishna, I have already said that Krishna is sitting in everyone's heart and he talks with the bona fide person. Just like a big man, he talks with some bona fide person. He doesn't waste his time talking with nonsense. He talks, that's a fact. But he does not talk with nonsense. He talks with the bona fide representative. Uh, how it is known? It is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Tesam satatu juttana. Who is bona fide representative? Tesam satatu juttana bhajatam kriti purvakam. Buddhi jogam dadanitam. Krishna says that I give him intelligence. Oh. To whom? Sadhana Jutkana, those who are engaged twenty-four hours. I mean, in which way he is engaged? Bhajata. Bhajan, bhajan. Those who are engaged in devotion and service. What kind of devotion and service? Preeti Purvakam, with love and affection. One who is engaged in devotion and service of the law, in love and devotion. What is the symptom of law? Love. The symptom, the prime symptom, most important symptom of love uh, is that the devotee wants to see that his Lord's name, fame, etc. become widespread. Uh, he wants to see that my Lord's name be known everywhere. Uh, this is love. Uh, if I love somebody, I want to see that his glories are spread all over the world. And Krishna also says in the Bhagavad Gita, Nachatasmatmanasesu Kashitme Priyatritam. Anyone who preaches his glory, uh, nobody is dearer to him than that person. Uh, everything is there in the Bhagavad How you can love? What are the symptoms of love? How you can please God? How he can talk with you? Everything is there. But you have to take advantage. Uh, we read Bhagavad Gita, but by reading Bhagavad Gita I become a politician. <laughs> So what kind of reading Bhagavad Gita? Uh, politician is there, of course, but the real uh, purpose of reading Bhagavad Gita is to know Krishna. If one is Krishna, if one knows Krishna, he knows everything. He knows politics, he knows economics, he knows science, he knows philosophy, he knows religion, he knows sociology, everything. That's when vijyāte sarvametam vijyātam bhavanti. That is the basic injunction. If you simply understand God, Krishna, then everything will be revealed to you. Because Krishna said, buddhi yogam dhanāmitam. If Krishna gives you intelligence from within, who can excel it? Nobody can excel uh, But Krishna can give you intelligence. Provide it. If we become a devotee to a lover of Krishna, tesaṁ satato juttānāṁ bhajatāṁ kṛti pūrva buddhi yogam dadānitaṁ. And what is that buddhi yoga? What is the value of buddhi yoga? That buddhi yoga and bhakti yoga, uh, the value is jenamāṁ bhujāṁsute. Such buddhi yoga, such intelligence, we get him back to home, back to God. Not that by such intelligence we go down to hell. Uh, that is material intelligence. 
Adanta Gobi, Dishatanta Mishram, everything is discussed in Bhagavad. For the materialist person, <coughs> Adanta Gobi, Adanta means unbridled, uncontrolled. Uh, go means Indriya or senses. Materialistic person, they cannot control their senses. They are servant of the senses, go thus. Uh, go means India, and Das means servant. So when you come to the position of controlling the senses, then you become Goswami. That is Goswami. Goswami means controlling the senses. Who has completely controlled the senses? Sami or Goswami. Sami also means that, and Goswami also means the same thing. Generally, Adanta Gobhi Vishadanta Mishram, uh, uncontrolled senses, they are going. It is not that Krishna is sending them. He is making his own path <coughs> clear. Either back to home, back to Godhead, or go glide down to the darkest region of hell. Uh, two things are there. And that opportunity is in the human form of life. He can select. Krishna, as he inquired from John, whether your illusion has been dissipated now, after